Present. Councilor Thomas. Present. Councilor King. Present. Councilor Graham. Present. And Councilor uh, Wheeler. Present. Acknowledging Mayor, the Mayor of East Cleveland, and also the Royal Director of the School of Business. Well noted. Can this be approved? Thank you, June 8th. Thank 
includes that. Uh, where's the from the mayor? Thank you, Mr. President. Congratulations on surviving the recall. Uh, that is a, I don't know if anyone in the city of East Cleveland has faced two recall elections in seven months and we back. back. So I congratulate you on that. And just trust that I've never believed in recalls. I voted to keep you in your council position. And if it's any consolation to you, before I became mayor, Several people asked me to attempt to recall the previous mayor. Uh, they were all ready to get petitions. They all got charged up, and there were about 10 people who approached me at different times and sometimes in a group. Some of them are yeah, in this room one tonight. Of, I was one of them. And yeah, I said, no. I did. I said, no at that time. Uh, it was because I don't necessarily you need to be one of Recalls are often unsuccessful. Recalls are an unnecessary expense that often simply reaffirms the choice of the voters. So I'm somebody who didn't believe in it when it was offered to me. I don't believe in it when it was done to you. And the result is, as we said, they reaffirmed the voters' decision twice. I just hope that the next time people consider that option, they would consider the fact that three elections now and two years for Tom Wheeler, people all reach the same decision, and it's an expense that the city shouldn't bear. So uh, I hope that sometime soon get a chance to reform that section of the charter and, and uh, do something about it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, new business and old business. <coughs> Council submit the name of the Animation Commission candidates for the candidate pool. Uh, to bring you all up to date, we have received, uh, I think it was 22 uh, resumes or bios of folks that were would like to be on the commission, and uh, uh, so what we've decided to do with all the talent that has offered to help is that we was going to go for three commissioners, as opposed to the rest of the council, that we go with five uh, alternates. So that way, we can get everybody's talent skill there that can help us on this, on this negotiation process. Um, when you be lost, <coughs> three commissioners. Right, so if somebody quits, fall off, don't have time, we already have the audience that's kind of involved as well. So it allows us to just keep it rolling, just replace that with one of the five. So we'll discuss that both, both <coughs> in the next week or so. Uh, so that's, that's where I'm at with it as of right now. Anybody have questions? I, I need to make this statement in relation to that. Um, you stated we got 22 resumes. I looked at most of the resumes. Before, my, you, before you call them off, let me have a read to 22 so everybody knows what we're talking about. Okay, okay. This is 21. Yeah, my back. Um, he's from the Western Reserve Land Conservatory. 
Andrew Jackson is from Elsa's International. And then we have um, Attorney George, George L. Forbes. These names, resumes came by us uh, notifying the public that we were looking for. It was also in the paper. And we extended it at the discussion of Councilman Martin. We extended it for an additional five, five, seven days. And we did receive these 22 applicants. I think all of them are fine. After, all of them are fine. They can get qualified to do the duty. So we just have to find a way to put the process and narrow the best of the best. Okay? When are we slated to sit down? Tomorrow. No. Uh, uh, process and this process is changing as we go through it because we're just new to all of us. Thursday we're going to have a, uh, a meeting, a special meeting. I want, to, I want council, if we all agree, to have the public come in and speak. They, they, they can pick up a list of the names tomorrow. They got questions they want to ask council or to show their support for which one they kind of support on that list. And then we go from there. And then the council will meet next Tuesday and kind of go through it and through, through an executive session, go through some of the proper evaluations and, and interview the candidates. And on the 19th, we'll make it public and we'll both, both make our decision on the 19th at the regular council meeting. What the date and time you said for the meeting for the public? It's going to be Thursday. This Thursday? Yes. Is Graham be able to be there? I'm asking. I mean, I can have some time for that. Let's make it six. Let's make it six. So, it would be nice if you would all speak up. Yeah.